Welcome to tutorial number two. My name is Jack Dale and in this video I want to tackle the thorny issue of Title Pro 6 to Title Pro 7 migration. By that I mean migrating a project, in my case a Vegas Pro project, which has been populated by titles created by Title Pro 6 into a Title Pro 7 compatible project. The principle should work with other supported NLEs. Loading a Vegas Pro project that has titles created with Title Pro 6 into a Title Pro 7 environment will function, but with certain restrictions. You can't simply resave the project without performing certain procedures that will ensure that the saved project is TP7 compatible. Not following these procedures will result in all the project titles reverting to default, which means the original titles are unrecoverable for that saved version. Some projects will convert relatively easily, whilst others will be troublesome. Should you wish to convert your TP6 compatible projects into TP7 compatible ones, I'll demonstrate in this video how to do this with an easy project. I'll be covering the conversion of a difficult one in another tutorial. I have a project that I created a few months ago with titles generated by Title Pro 6 and I want to show you how to convert this project into a project that will work with Title Pro 7. The procedure is quite precise and deviating from this procedure will possibly cause the conversion to fail. So if I just go up here and open the project concerned, which is this one, it's version 14 and this was created with titles using Title Pro 6. So I'm just going to open that up. Now the first thing to do with this, and it's very important, is to use File Save As to create a new version. That's opened on the other screen, so I'll bring that across. Now I'm just going to call that version 15 with TP seven at the end to signify that it is going to be a TP7 compatible project file. Now it's important to do that so that if anything goes wrong you don't corrupt the last TP6 project file. Now once that's done we can now work on this and I'm now going to open up Title Pro 7 by clicking this icon on the generated media. So we're now in Title Pro 7. And what I have to do first is to save all these titles. You can see they've all got the default name title. And I need now to save these into a dedicated folder with unique names. What I did forget to show you is go back to Vegas Pro. The when you first open a file, a project file, 
that has titles created with Title Pro 6 in a Title Pro 7 environment, the titles don't display immediately. They are displaying immediately now because unfortunately I went to Title Pro 7 before I showed you what happens. What happens is you get a little uh, message on here stating that the title has been prepared. And the reason you get that message is because there are no title files, no caching data to read. So it has to do this without the title files and that's why you get a delay. While we're on here, I'll just show you that the titles need checking to make sure that they work correctly. Intro and outro. Outro. Intro. And outro. The reason I'm mentioning that is because there are projects that I've tried to convert that the titles don't work correctly. And these are what I call complex projects. I will have to cover that in another tutorial because that's quite lengthy. But this is what I call a simple project because everything works okay. So we'll now go back to Title Pro and proceed to save the titles. Now this title is the main title. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. This is the root of the project. I'm now going to create a new folder and call it Titles. You don't have to do that. You can save the titles in the root. But I like to keep things nice and orderly. So I'm going to save them in a folder called titles. Now this is the main title. So I'm going to call that. Main title. The next one. Now I know that this one isn't the next one on the timeline. So I don't want to call that title two. You can do if you want, but I like to, as I said, I like to be orderly and I like to make these in the order that they appear on the Vegas Pro timeline. Now I know that that's the second one, so I'm going to call that Lower third of one. And the next one, that is the uh, next one on the timeline. I know that for a fact. So I'm going to call that uh, made a mistake there, as you can see. But never mind, I can sort that out later. So call that one lower third or two. Now I know that one is not the next one in line, so it's that one. So I'm going to call that save as. Or third or three. That one is the next one. So I'm going to call that or third or four. I'll just proceed down here, saving each one in turn.
Okay, so now all the titles have been saved in that dedicated folder. Now, while we're here, can you see that tooltip there? You need to ignore that because that's a throwback from Title Pro 6. It's not been removed in Title Pro 7. It doesn't work. In Title Pro 6, you were able to edit these names by just double clicking on them and then typing in the name. That's not possible now because you have to save them. And the name is the same as the file name of the title. Another thing you can see is that all these are highlighted. That means that they all share the same design. Another thing I'll mention while we're here is the Title Pro timeline, this line here. The increments on the timeline are the frames per second or the when you zoom in the frames per second and the frames per second for Title Pro 7 timeline is NTSC. That's about 30 frames per second. Unfortunately that can't be changed not within Title Pro 7. When the titles are rendered, they're rendered at the host's configured frame rate. So for instance, when you're working out keyframe positions, if you live in PAL land, which is 25 frames per second, it can be quite tricky. Now all the titles have been saved. As you can see, I'm being very deliberate about this because a mistake here can cause a lot of wasted time. Now they've all been saved, it's safe now to close Title Pro 7 with the tick in the bottom right hand corner. What this will do, it will save any changes to the titles into the title files. Now we're back in Vegas Pro. I can now close that down. Now at this stage, it's very important not to close Vegas Pro down. You must save the project. Even though up here, there is no little star to say that things have changed. The project has to be saved to maintain the link between the project file and the title files. So I'm now just going to click the save button. Now that should be it. That file v15 is now a Title Pro 7 compatible file. And just to show you that that's correct. I will close this down and then open it back up again. So there's the new project file, the TP7 file. So I'll select that and open it up. Now select a title and you'll see that immediately the titles are there. And the reason for that is that when the project file opens, it automatically reads in the titles and the caching data for those titles. So you don't have to wait for The caching. I'll just play that through and show you that it works. And again, another one. So 
So now all those titles are working correctly. And this particular project file is now the Title Pro 7 compatible project file. OK, that was a, a converting a simple project file to a Title Pro 7 compatible project file. Now I aim to show in my next tutorial how to convert a project file that has titles that don't work as they should do when opened up in a Title Pro 7 environment. Now, depending on the complexity of the titles in that difficult project, it will be relatively easy or very difficult. My advice is, if a project is like this one, which is relatively easy, then it is worth converting. If the project isn't relatively easy, that is, the titles don't work as they should do when you open the project file up before conversion then unless it's absolutely necessary you should avoid trying to convert it so i hope that's been useful for you i will see you in the next project which involves the conversion of a difficult project file Bye for now.